But first, at one o'clock, the former leader of UKIP, Nigel Farage, has been injured in a plane crash. The police say the accident happened at around eight this morning, just west of Milton Keynes, near Brackley in Northamptonshire. Now, it's understood the plane had been trailing a banner and had only been in the air for some ten minutes before it came down near the airfield. Mr. Farage has been taken to hospital at Banbury for a checkup. The pilot had to be cut from the wreckage, and he's been airlifted to hospital now in Coventry. Let's get the very uh, latest Lisa Dowd at the scene of the crash, Darren Little at the hospital where Mr. Farage is being treated. Uh, Lisa, first to you. I understand the air accident uh, branch will be on its way, but clearly uh, he is, and the pilot too, lucky to escape with their lives. Well, we understand from a photographer, a member of UKIP who was here when the crash happened, that the aircraft had been in the air for around 10 minutes or so at around 8 o'clock this morning. Um, it was flying at quite a low level over the airfield, around 10 to 15 metres from the ground. Now, police are telling us that they understand that the aircraft had been trying to land here, but at some point it flipped over and crashed to the ground, uh, really crushing the cockpit and Nigel. Nigel Farage and the pilot who were inside. It's really amazing uh, to see that Nigel Farage managed to uh, walk away from the cockpit with minor injuries. Uh, the pilot, though, was trapped inside uh, for some time. He, though, managed to reach for his mobile phone and call the emergency services, giving them all the details they might need to know, even down uh, to the finer details of the make and the model of the aircraft. So, um, amazing. It's amazing really that either of them really survived this when you see the wreckage and plenty here at the scene now for air accident investigators and police to do. They'll be looking at whether the banner which was trailing behind this aircraft played any part, whether it got tangled up in it, whether crosswinds might have played a part in the accident. Uh, we also know that this airfield was unfamiliar to the pilot and we have been speaking to Detective Chief Inspector Martin Kitchen and this is what he had to tell us. Uh, I can confirm this morning at 8 o'clock the emergency services received a phone call uh, as a result of a light aircraft coming down at this location. Uh, on arrival, emergency services have released the pilot from the plane uh, who was taken to uh, Coventry Hospital at Walls End by air ambulance. Uh, the passenger had been released prior to the arrival of emergency services and has been taken to hospital uh, at Horton Hospital at Banbury. Uh, investigations continue into the cause of the accident uh, and they will continue during the course of the rest of the day. We are in consultation with the Air Accident Investigation Board who are providing us, us with advice at this time. A lot of the aftermath. Let's uh, catch up with Dan at the hospital. Extraordinary, Dan, when we see these photos of uh, Nigel Farage in that wreckage that he managed to escape. Oh, without doubt, and I'm told inside the hospital here, although he suffered relatively minor injuries, just minor facial injuries and some chest pains, which they are checking out to make sure everything's okay with his ribs and, uh, and other things uh, within uh, his chest. Uh, he is uh, traumatized and shocked by what has happened. Clearly, coming into to such a, an impact at such a low level, that plane flipping, being trapped, and then having to, to crawl out and then see the pilot uh, be cut out of that plane, he is uh, quite in a degree of shock. We're not sure quite when he is going to leave the hospital here. And while the pilot, as Lisa was saying, was conscious throughout, he was airlifted to the University Hospitals Coventry and Warwickshire. Uh, we understand with uh, leg and back injuries uh, are slightly more serious, although we understand his injuries are not life-threatening. But when you see the state of that plane, uh, uh, an engine uh, somewhere else on the airfield, away from uh, the main plane itself, uh, really both of them have had a very, very lucky escape. And do we know, Darren, if uh, Mr. Farage has managed to help the inquiry as yet as to what may have gone wrong? I think it's too early uh, to say at the moment. There's certainly no police here or, or any investigators. I think they're just trying to get him patched up and then see where they go from here. We also don't know even whether he has voted today. I mean, clearly that was the intention of, of what he was doing, and we're not sure whether he will even be discharged today. It all really depends on the condition when they do those body scans and find out how he is uh, in his entirety. But at the moment, it sounds his mind is a long way uh, from polling day. He's thinking uh, about other things at the moment. Yeah. Darren at the hospital and uh, Lisa at the scene that and both thanks very much indeed. Of course, uh, more from you as we get more details. You're watching the live desk, all your news, business and sport uh, at 9 and 1 every weekday.